Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to be connecting the Dectronix All Sport CG to AutoCast through the custom protocol method. Now the sport I'm going to be using is basketball, but you could use any sport that Dectronix supports. What you will need is the Dectronix protocol for that sport, and it's a PDF file that looks something like this. So let me minimize this and open up AutoCast, and we can begin. So with AutoCast open, I'm going to select the template that I want to use, and I'm going to click on Watch, and within the data type, I'm going to select Sports Interface. Now with Sports Interface selected, within the protocol type, there's going to be a list of all of the sports that we support for the individual scoreboard manufacturers. So we have OES, Fair Play, Dictronix. These are all default protocols though. If you want to create a custom one, then go to Custom. And notice that when I went there, you have a sample protocol that you could work off of. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to right click on Sample Protocol and click on Edit. And this is the contents of that protocol. The first section is the header section. And below the header section is data list, which is everything here. And below data list is the options section. I'm not going to talk about options in this tutorial, so let me get rid of it. And let's focus on the header and data list. Now with the protocol opened, I'm going to go ahead and move it over and open up the Dictronix protocol that they provide right here. And within the header tag, the first tag beneath it is protocol description. Now you could pretty much type anything you would like in here. I'm going to type in Dectronix Basketball. And below that is the, a tag that says Total Bytes. Now what this is referring to is the column that is called Length. So what you're going to do is you're going to add up all of the numbers within. And it looks like with basketball, I have a total length of 33 bytes. Now the tag beneath that is STX. Now this is the beginning. Within your Dectronix manual, you have SOH 0x01. So SOH is the same as STX. I'm going to type in 1 right here. And the next tag says ETX. Now, way at the bottom, you'll say EOT, and it is 0x04. So I'm going to type in 4 for this. And below this is the checksum type tag. For checksum type, it's going to be 1 if you're going to use AutoCast with this. Uh, the next tag is checksum bytes. And this is referring to how many bytes checksum uses for uh, Dectronix. So within the manual, you'll have checksum here, and you'll have two as the length. So you're going to type in two bytes. And the next tag is called checksum number format, and it's set to 16. And notice to the right, it says 10, 16. And you would type in 10 if checksum is a decimal number. You'll type in 16 if it's a hexadecimal number. And you'll find that out within field 16 of the Dictronics manual. So if I scroll down in field 16, it says that checksum is a hex value. So I'll make sure that this is set to 16. And the final tag within header is the checksum available. And this is referring to whether or not you want to use checksum. Um, if you don't know what checksum is, it's a basic algorithm that detects errors within the packet or code. And with this set to zero, that basically means it's not going to use checksum. And if I set it to one, then it will use checksum. Now, um, one quick note is that if you do use checksum and if errors are detected, then no data will be displayed at all. Now that the header section is complete, let's go ahead and move on to the data list. Now within the data list, you'll have a bunch of tags that represent the data that you will be providing from Dictronix. So uh, if I scroll up within the Dictronix manual, everything within the 
type section, you'll notice within type you have header, then you have a bunch of data rows, and then two footers at the end. And the data list will basically be each of these data descriptions. So you have the game clock time, the game clock status, shot clock time. All of these will be their own tags listed one in a row. So let me go ahead and type in all the tags for Dictronic Basketball. Okay, now that everything's created, you're gonna need to make sure that all the tags and closing tags are spelled correctly. If anything isn't spelled correctly, then the data isn't gonna show up. Now the next step is to add the number of bytes that these tags represent. And you'll find that within the lengths column. So uh, for example, the game clock time within the Dictronics manual says seven, so it's seven bytes. So I'm gonna type in seven. Game clock status is one. The shot clock time is four. And the home team score is three. Now what this represents is if your home team has 103 points, then that is three digits long. That's three bytes long. And let me go ahead and finish up the rest of these bytes. Okay, now that this is finished, we're pretty much set to go. So let me go to File, then Save As, and uh, let me not overwrite this file. I'll go ahead and save it as a separate protocol. So, Dectronics Basketball. And let me open up AutoCast. And I'll go ahead and click on Dictronics Basketball and press Open. Now after doing that, I'm going to link these protocols that I just created to my page. So my page has a group of aliases right here. I have an alias of game clock time, game clock status, and um, to the right is my protocol item list. And this is everything that I've typed in within my data list. So I'll go ahead and link my game clock time, my game clock status, my home team score, my guest team score, my home team fouls, and my guest team fouls, and I'll link the period. Now after linking them, I'm going to press OK. And within AutoCast, I'm going to press Add to add it to my playlist. And you can see that immediately, all the data that is on my All Sports CG box automatically got implemented. And if I were to go back inside my watch settings, then I would have all the data the All, all Sports CG box supports right now. Now I don't have a link to, let's say, a 5000, so I don't have my shot clock or anything else. But um, I do have a set of manual, and this is all the information that it provides. Now to go ahead and test this, I'm going to press Start AutoCast, and it's going to play the page that I have on my playlist. Now if I make any edits within the all sports CG box, then it should update. So I'm going to add a home score right now. And notice my home team score changed to two. I'm going to add two points for my guest score. Guest score got added. Let me add two more points. And let me add a home team foul. Looks like that's working. Guest team foul. And that's working as well. Now I could go ahead and uh, change my period. Looks like my period works. And um, let me go ahead and start the timer. So I'm gonna press start, and it looks like it's ticking down. So with the timer off, I could adjust my home team score and guest as well. And it looks like everything works properly. Now thanks for joining me today as I set up the custom protocol. If you have any questions at all, make sure you email us at support at